Hi everyone, welcome to the latest Multigo release video. So in this video we're just going to talk about the 4.1 release and the different changes that we've made to it. So previously when you had Multigo, you'd go to our website, you'd download one version, let's say Excel because it was the default there, you'd get it, you'd install it, you'd be like, ah, this isn't the right version. Now you've got to go back to the website, download a different version, now you've got these two versions running, you've got to find out which one you've got a key for, or which one is community so you can log into it. And what we've done now is we've changed it so that Multigo is kind of like a platform. Right, so all the different versions now run on one Multigo platform, and when you open the tool, you get to choose which version you want. Right, it also means that you get the ability to go, oh, I've got Community Edition, now I want to upgrade it. I go in, I fill in a, a quick form, put in my credit card details, I get a key, and now I can change it you know, in a matter of minutes to go from Community Edition to uh, Classic or to Excel, and I don't need to uh, download something else or have some sort of finicky upgrade uh, mechanism. So this is one of the things that we've changed. And also now that we've got this kind of platform that all the additions run on, it means that we can push updates to everyone very quickly. So previously we had to manage, okay, for every release there's uh, a deb, a DMG, EXE, and so on. We'd have to test those to say, okay, does this release work? Uh, these new updates, these bug fixes, do they work on this? And now we can say, well, hey, we've got these bug fixes, we're pushing them out, we've got a new, uh, something new in the tool, and we can push it out to everyone uh, right away. So it means that now your community edition users don't need to wait for it to go through Excel and Classic before it gets to them. Everyone will get these updates right away. So let's start the tool and see what it's like. Okay, so here I'm firing up uh, a clean version of Multigo 4.1 and you'll see that it's got a splash screen here that's just the default and actually when you have activated or picked the particular type that you're using for now, uh, you'll see that these things kind of change the color scheme and everything else. So here you can see it starts up, uh, it opens. The first thing that I get is the product selection. So this says, hey, you've opened up Multigo for the first time, what do you want to use? So I say, okay, well, I'm a community user, I want to run with Multigo CE. Okay, so I say run here, and of course if you had a key you could have just activated to those. I put in my email address, and my password. Hit next. And now you'll see that it says, okay, I've logged in. And in the background, you can see that the Transform Hub changed, the home page changed, and so on. Um, and now I can install the Transform. So kind of the default way that you'd use the Community Edition. All right, so it's fetching those Transforms, gonna install them, uh, and these are only the Community Edition ones. Okay, so now I've got all of these installed. I click Next. I can say, let me automatically send error reports. This means when things are going wrong or there's a bug that someone finds, we get that automatically. You don't need to go and email us or anything. And that we can push out as a bug fix to everyone. Okay, now I'm ready. I say, ah, go away, I've done this before. And here you can see that I've got Transform Hub with all the different Community Edition Transform items on, so all the free versions of uh, the various Hub items. Um, and then I can say, okay, I use this as normal. And now I can, uh, perhaps I've been using this and I say, well, 12 results is not really enough. So I want to use the classic version. So I've got a key and now I don't need to download the new version, right? I can just go here on the application icon and I click on license manager and I can say buy classic or buy Excel and that will take me to a page. I just put in my credit card details, gives us some money. We give you a license key and we do appreciate the money. Um, and then you will be able to activate it. Okay, so I say switch version. And now I'm gonna say, well, I wanna activate classic. I don't need to buy it, I've already got a key. I say activate with key, I say accept. Now I'm gonna put in my license key, right? It says that's good. I click next. And now it's activating, it's verifying that this, your key that you've got is valid for this and so on. And now you'll see that the application changes again in the background, right? So now if I click finish, now I've got all the commercial transform hub items. So these are the things that are more paid for, so uh, things that you'd use sort of in a more commercial aspect. And of course my slider is now unlocked. Um, so then at this stage, I could say, well, actually I'm starting to hit the limitations of classic, right? I can only get 10,000 nodes back. Um, I'm hitting the maximum sizes on my graphs. And now I wanna say, okay, well, actually I need bigger graphs. I need to use these. So now I need to upgrade to Excel. And again, what I can do is I can just click on the application icon I go to License Manager, and I can say Upgrade. If I upgrade, it'll take me to a page. I simply fill in my credit card details. Gives us some money, we like that. 
you get a license, oh, you won't get a license key back. Um, it'll just mark your license key to say, hey, you can now use this with Excel. So then all I do is I say refresh license info from the server, right? So I've paid uh, with my credit card. It said, great, you're upgraded. I hit this button and now it's going and querying that and it's going to upgrade this particular classic to Excel for me. Okay, so just waiting for that to finish. And there you go. Now I've got an Excel version, right? So I click close. You can see the, the color scheme has slightly changed. Obviously, I can get up to 64K results. And now I've got a much bigger space that I can use uh, for the amount of entities. I'm not going to be hitting those limits. Um, so that's a really nice way that we can go between the different versions uh, using Multigo 4.1. And of course, I can always downgrade to case file or CE if I wanted to. Over the last 10 years, we've really built a lot of transforms. And as it happened and as these transforms kind of got built up, we started using all kinds of different platforms, different languages, uh, they're running on different environments and actually became quite a mess for us because people would say, hey, this transform doesn't work or something's updated uh, in terms of say who is or DNS or something else in the OSN realm. And we'd have to say, okay, well, hey, that, that transform's written in Java and we need to get this guy who can do this and change it and redeploy it, put it back on. Um, and what we've done for the 4.1 release, so besides changing the client to this unified client, is that we've actually rewritten every single transform that we have available in the OSN platform. So now all of these transforms are running on a very scalable single language that everyone can edit and modify. And it means that when people go and they email us or they contact us and they say, hey, this transform could be better or we need a new transform that does this, uh, we can say, okay, well, that's now a lot easier for us to do. Someone can code it up. We can push it out to this platform. Uh, it'll be deployed on you know, multiple servers. Um, and we can just have this stuff run very quickly and very easily. And this is going to change uh, how quickly we can respond to things like that and how quickly we can actually roll out new transforms to everyone. If you've lived in a house for 10 years, you kind of in, end up accumulating a whole bunch of different things, odds and ends, uh, things that you never really get rid of until you move. And one of the things that we've done in this whole process of changing the client and changing the service, we've also changed our backend. So we've also moved house on the backend and we've kind of streamlined and made everything a little bit better and a little bit more intuitive in the way that you'd expect things to work. So one of the first things that we changed is we've moved to a new payment gateway. It means that when you buy your license, it's a lot easier. You can log in, see your orders. It's very quick and easy and painless to pay with a credit card uh, and get your license right away. Then one of the features that I like the most is that we've moved to a single license uh, for Multigo, which means that if you uh, renew your client, you won't get a new license. You can just use the same one that you got before. And really, this wasn't a pain for most people if they would just had one or two licenses. But for the people who have teams of 100 people, it meant that every time they renew, they'd have to shift these licenses around. And now they no longer need to do that. They can just hit refresh. And whether it's an upgrade or a renewal, the client will just take care of that. Uh, then we've also improved the quotes, so the quotations are a little bit nicer. We've also included reminders, so previously there'd be people who maybe let their multi client lapse just because they missed, oh, this is when it expires. So now what we'll do is we'll send you a reminder, we'll attach a quote, you just shoot it off to the finance department, and that's all taken care of. Um, then our hub is, uh, has changed quite a lot. So previously we had to kind of manually change it. And now we've got a nice backend system where we can say, okay, well, if there's a new provider, so someone says, hey, I've got really cool data, I want to use Multigo to visualize it, they can say, I've built these transforms, can we put it in the hub? We'll say, yes, that's great. And now we can quickly add it to things like saying, okay, well, this item belongs in Excel Classic and CE. And it kind of speeds up that process um, of getting hub items, uh, getting new different providers that can give you new transforms. Then we've also improved the server delivery just for our server clients so it's a little bit easier. Uh, it kind of generates in a much nicer way uh, in terms of using the service. So to recap with what we've done with Multigo is uh, in the last, basically since the last video, is we have a brand new client that lets you switch between and do the upgrades. We've got a new server, we've rewritten all the transforms, they're faster, they scale better. Um, there's a, a lot of, a big difference there that we can push updates and, and do bug fixes and things like that. And then we've got this crazy new backend where we can kind of streamline the whole process of everything. So really what we're saying is that after 10 years, we've got a brand new house and we'd really like you guys to come and visit our new condo.